My name is Sakela Butlungo, I'm the Vice-Chancellor of the University of Fort Hare. We are now on our Alice campus in front of the De Beers Gallery. Uh, the occasion is the signing of a memorandum of understanding between the African National Congress Archives Unit and the University. And so the president of the ANC, who also happens to be president of the country, is coming to campus. And so we're going to sign this memorandum, and that's the occasion today. The archives are very important because as we look at our society, as we fix things, as we mend the way we do things, the way people live their lives, archives become a source, a source of inspiration, a source of hope, a source of that says to people, we've come from somewhere and we've sacrificed hugely for the future that we have now. There are some artifacts there that tell the story in very powerful ways, you know, Chris Honey's kind of military boots, for example, they're there and they will be there permanently. Mr. Govenbergi Womgov's guitar, it's there. It's a permanent feature of the thing and many other things, photographs, documents, letters. So yes, it's a source of knowledge for the future. NIHEX is a very important support academic and research center at the University of Forte, uh, strictly planned initially in the late 1990s. I think it was officially opened in 1997, primarily for curatorship of rare African collections and at the same time archiving material that is more associated with the Liberation Archive. And there are various collections from different political organizations, the majority from the African National Congress and then other political parties like the PAC, others Azapo, Black Consciousness Movement, and even the earlier ones like Unity Movement. We certainly are excited about this MOU because beside being, should I call it, the benchmark of us being the recipient of what would be an ANC digital archive, it also allows us a launch pad to expand the digitization exercise to other collections that we have, especially other liberation movements. You know the talks now are food to use the liberation archives to build them to academic programs. And it's easier and it's more accessible to have the material when it's in digital format. The partnership itself is a very historic document and moment both for the university and for the ANC. It started 30 years ago after the ANC was unbanned in 1990. One of the first decisions it took was to bring back the archives from all over the world that belonged to the ANC and deposit it at Fort Hare University to act as a repository. Now why Fort Hare? It's quite obvious. Fort Hare stood amongst the best of the universities because it was a decision of Madiba at the time he persuaded the National Executive Committee of the ANC that it should be Fort A that becomes a repository to safeguard the archives of the ANC. And as we witnessed tonight, President Ramaphosa cemented that relationship and trust that the ANC has in Fort A to continue with the digitization process of the archives of the ANC and to store the ANC and keep it in safekeeping.